Hi, my name is Dale. This is Dan. We're here to talk to you about an email we'll be getting soon. We've all been challenged by the series of messages on spiritual gifts. I've been reinvigorated and challenged to use my gifts. What an exciting thought that God wants to use us to lift up those around us by using the talents that he gave us. Can you imagine what the world would be like if we all had full opportunity to use our gifts and talents? The scriptures tell us in 1 Corinthians 12 that God has given each of us specific spiritual gifts for the building up of the body of Christ. This is how God intended it. You know, that's so good. But going back to the email that we mentioned at the beginning, it will ask you to identify your spiritual gifts that you already may have known or were recently identified by the spiritual gifts test that we took. I would really encourage you to fill out the survey so that the church can better utilize um, your talents and spiritual gifts. At the bottom of the questionnaire, it's going to ask you if you'd be willing to be contacted by a member of our team. We're hoping to build a list of people with their gifts and talents that we can use to match up with needs that arise. We can accomplish a lot if we use God's gifts the way they were intended. It's so rewarding to see the fruit that is produced when we utilize spiritual gifts as the body of Christ. I know that for me, I find so much joy when God uses my gifts for His glory. If you do not have an email, there will be copies of the survey at the Ask Me desk. I'm excited to see how God is going to use each and every one of you. Hey, thanks Dan and Dale. Please encourage you, when you get that email with the survey for your spiritual gifts and areas where you want to serve, take a few minutes to fill it out. It would help us greatly as we work together as a church to use our gifts for God's glory. Another opportunity we have tonight on December 5th at 6.30 in the Fireside Room is Revival Prayer. So come and pray with us. We would love to see you there. And also in this holiday Advent season, we are still looking for orders for poinsettias for the church. So if you have an interest in that, you can pick up an order form, order one for $10, but you have to turn it in before December 9th. And one of our cherished traditions at Emmaus is the Christmas Eve service. And those are coming up on Christmas Eve. It's going to be service at 4 p.m. and 5.30. If you have availability, we would love to see you there. And the Respond Info meeting is still coming up, but it's been postponed until January 9th at 1 p.m. So if you have interest in joining that group in July, uh, just want to learn more, come out to the Info meeting. You know, recently in my times with the Lord, I have been running across kind of repeatedly this theme from Philippians chapter 2, and I'd like to leave you with that and a couple of encouragements as we think about Christmas here. So it says in verse 3, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. And it really summarizes it here. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. As we think about Christmas season, so often we get caught up in our own schedules, our own wants, needs, desires, wish lists. But we are encouraged as partakers in the grace and the glory of Christ to consider others' needs. And then it goes on and says, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. There's the promise. There's the hope. It's yours. It's not something we have to work up. It's the grace of Christ dwelling in us that gives us this mindset. And then it goes on to describe, and you can put this in your own Christmas context, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who through, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. But here's a Christmas story. But emptied himself by taking the form of a servant and being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by coming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. We have that hope. We have the picture of Christ come to earth to dwell among us, to live sacrificially and resurrected now and ruling and reigning on high. That is the Christ who now dwells within those who call on his name and believe in him for salvation. 
We have Him in us. So let us love and serve one another, doing nothing out of selfish ambition, but considering others' interests first.